and I want you to watch what happens to the changes as I continue to heat sulphur. It's a nice runny yellow liquid because the little sulphur molecules are free to run around, move over each other, just like water molecules do in water. It's nice and yellow, it's nice and runny. Now if you shove too much heat energy too quickly on that, you'll miss that stage. You'll miss that stage and you'll regret it for the rest of your lives. So here we go. I'm going to heat it. Now watch happen. Watch what happens. Because you've got that window open, guys, the flame's blowing straight at me. It's making life difficult for me. Now, just observe the changes. It's nice and runny just now. It's nice and runny. It's going black. It's going ready brown. And watch. What, what about the viscosity? Is it getting thicker or runnier? It looks thicker. It's getting a lot thicker. So, there's Smoke something... Oil. Oh, look at that. Now, look at... For goodness sake, it's gone like treacle. Now, know? think about that for a minute. When, when it's nice and runny, what can you say about the forces between the particles? Nice and weak. Nice and weak. When it goes gloop like that, what can you say about the forces between the particles? Stronger. Right, now, that might indicate to you that what we've got is actually a different type of particle. <laughs> You're not taking me seriously. What that sure might it. indicate to you, Have you is that there's a different type of particle in there. But wait! And also remember what I said to you about... This is exciting <laughs> stuff. Exciting stuff. Remember what I said to you about if the force... If there's big forces between molecules, what does that tell you about the size of the molecules? They're bigger. They're bigger. Well, we've heated the sulfur molecules. Something must have happened to maybe make the molecules that are in there bigger. And we're going to have to think about that. Anyway, I'm going to continue heating. And then the last bit is a bit you have to be very careful with. Because it's not... It's only about 200 degrees at the moment. Now, what do you notice happening? We've got another small person outside. <laughs> All the small people have jumped out the window. <laughs> now, there we go. It's treacle, but wait. Watch solid. this. This is going to amaze you. We've gone from little sulfur molecules. They're not very big molecules. We know we've got big molecules in there. How do we know we've got big molecules? Because it's solid. It's gone solid. Forces are bigger, bigger molecules. But I'm going to keep on heating this ugly look looking... Mess. Treacle. It's a mess. Here we go. And watch. Oh, there's a bit of vapour coming out the top. There might be flames in a minute, so be very careful. Mm -hmm. If you're outside the room. Well, you don't get the fire extinguisher. No, no, you won't need the fire extinguisher. Yet. Now, just keep on heating it. And it's going evil. It's going evil. Look at that gas. Oh, oh. <coughs> I think it might have caught. Right, now did you see that? It's did gone you, liquid again. It's gone runny. So what does that tell you about the size of molecules that are in there now? They're smaller again. They're smaller again. And it's runny. Now, watch this last bit because you're going to heat it up till it gets like this and it's very, very hot. And I don't want anyone catching fire because you don't smell good when you're burning. It's not <laughs> nice. Right, now, once you've got it boiling, are you gonna stick at it that in? point it's runny, now just be careful. I want you to tip that sulphur out. Oh. Into the beaker. Oh. And it's molten. Whoa. And sometimes, because I know what I'm doing, it didn't go <laughs> pop. It didn't do that, but it might well do it with you. So just be a little bit careful, because sometimes that's on fire. <laughs> now, we've taken yellow sulphur, which is a horrible white looking, it's uh, horrible yellow looking solid, and we have now made this stuff. Now, well, let's have a look at it. This is still sulphur, but look, <laughs> it is elastic. We've made sulphur elastic. So there's something else different going on with the little molecules in there. All right, now you are going to make plastic sulphur. And I'm going to ask you some. That's plastic sulphur because it's plastic. That's solid sulphur because it's solid. Right? So you and the runny stuff is liquid sulphur. Because it's liquid? Right, okay. Stop at that point. Turn those cameras off.